Scene 16. Wear the appropriate costume. It's hard to think that a $2 billion company with 4,300 plus people couldn't complete, compete with six people in blue jeans. Steve Jobs responding to an Apple lawsuit against him after he resigned to reform to form next. Steve Jobs is the anti-chair. In her Vegas concert, chair and her dancers had 140 costume changes. Jobs has one costume for every performance. For presentations, Jobs always wears a black mock turtleneck, faded blue jeans and white sneakers. If you want to get more specific, he wears a St. Crocs sweater, Levi's 500 501 blue jeans and New Balance running shoes. Now, not that it matters much because you're not going to dress like him. He can get away with it because he's Steve Jobs and you're not. Seriously, when you're a business legend who is credited with reinventing the entire computer industry, you can show up in pretty much anything you want. Although most people are familiar with Jobs' black shirt and blue jeans attire, even the Simpsons cartoon creator dressed the Jobs character in, in jeans and a black mock for an episode in 2008. Jobs didn't always dress this way. When Jobs was a young man trying to be taken seriously by investors and the public, he dressed much more conservatively. The Jobs of 1984 looked a lot different from the Jobs of 2009. The first cover of Macworld magazine in January 1984 showed Jobs standing behind a desk with three of the original Macintosh computers. He was wearing a brown pinstriped suit, brown tie, and white shirt. Yes, Jobs once donned pinstripes. He wore an even more conservative outfit for the actual presentation. When he unveiled the Macintosh appearing in a white shirt, gray slacks, a dark blue double-breasted blazer, and a green bow, tow, bow tie, imagine Jobs in a bow tie. It's true. Jobs is smart. <coughs> His wardrobe always reflected the leader he wanted to become. He was well aware of the impression clothes could leave on people. While Jobs was away from Apple, he pitched his new company, Next, to Bank of America. Daniel Lewin, Next's marketing executive, showed up at Jobs' house in blue jeans to accompany him to the meeting. Jobs walked out wearing an expensive beyond suit from Wilkes Bashworth. Hey, Jobs said. We're going to the bank today. For Jobs, jeans were appropriate for the office, but not the bank. Now you might be confused. Jobs wore a suit to the bank and jeans in the office. What lesson does this hold for the rest of us? A true military hero, former U.S. Army Ranger Matt Eversman, once gave me the best piece of wardrobe advice I've, I'd ever heard. Eversman led troops in, in a fierce battle in Mogadishu, Somalia in October 1993. The battle was turned into a movie called Black Hawk Down. I met Eversman at a business conference and asked him for some leadership advice I could share with my readers. Eversman told me that great leaders dress a little better than everyone else. He said that when he would meet a subordinate for the first time, his shoes were shinier, his whites were wider, and his pants were better pressed. I never forgot that piece of advice. I later interviewed George Zimmer, the founder of the men's warehouse clothing chain. Zimmer agreed with Everman's, <coughs> but added, appropriate for the culture, it makes sense you wouldn't show up for the company picnic in the same attire that you wear to the office. Also, different companies have different culture. Apple is rebellious, creative, and committed to think different. It's okay for an Apple employee to wear more informal attire than a Wall Street executive. Once you invent a product that changes the world, you can talk about dressing down.
For now, here's the best wardrobe advice you'll ever hear. Always dress a little better than everyone else, but appropriate for the culture. Director's note. Dress like the leader you want to become, not for the position you currently have. Great leaders dress a little better than everyone else in the room. Remember, when Jobs was looking for funding at the bank, he dressed in an exact expensive suit. Wear clothes that are appropriate for the culture. Steve Jobs can get away with a black mock blue jeans and running shoes because everything about his brand is built on the concept of disrupting the status quo. If you're going to dress like a rebel, dress like a well-off rebel. Jobs wears St. Croix sweater. It might look like a black t-shirt, but at least he spends money on it.